to center. Hicks going back and now over makes the catch. Baseball on the show. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian welcoming you to another edition of Baseball. I'm Steve Lyons, and this is MLB 15, the show. Hello, everybody. This is Steve Lyons. Welcome to MLB 15. Eric Karras, welcome to MLB 15, the show. Hi, everybody. This is Eric Karras. Welcome to MLB 15, the show. And now he'll try to bunt his way on to start the game. Throw to first is in time, so a good idea, but the bunt attempt doesn't pan out. Well, it didn't take too long here to try and show off those wheels, did it? First pitch of the ball game, in fact, but a great play there to get this ball quickly and keep him off base. Kevin Kiermeyer will dig in now. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. First pitch on the way. Down and away, one ball and no strikes. EK are home nine as they start play here tonight. They've been on a real nice run of late, winning five of their last six games. And they've got themselves a pretty good-sized lead in the division coming into play. Certainly not out of reach yet, but they've got to be pretty comfortable with where they're sitting at this point in the year. Bases are empty, one man out. The 2-0. Outside, 3-0 now. There you see Evan Longoria waiting next. Here it comes, 3-0. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate on fire. One of the things that makes him so tough to hit, the ability to put his pitches right on the black. Yeah, I mean, you watch the catcher's glove on some of these, and... It literally does not move. That's how good his stuff is. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground towards short. And a throw over to Howard, and that's the second out. Evan Longoria will have his first opportunity now as it comes with the bases empty here in the top of the first. First pitch coming. Here's a slider to start things out, but it misses by a few inches or so. It's ball one. You got to figure that that man right there would be more than happy to see this guy at the plate taking his swings with two out and nobody on all night long. And so would the guy on the mound. 1-0 pitch now. Another chance out there at shortstop. Throw on to the first baseman, Howard, and with that, the side is retired. Down in order go the Rays. So now the Phillies offense will see what they can do. No score. Starting lineup for the Phillies is there on your screen. a look at the starter this lineup will match up against as you take a look at his line on the right side of your screen. And defensively the Rays will look like this behind him. Ben Revere 
will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. That one didn't come and get him. EK are visitors here as they take the field tonight following a scoreless top half. They come in off a loss last time out, but they've been playing well, winners of five straight prior to that game. Yeah, and that last loss dropped them back to the 500 mark on the year. So, obviously, they'd like to get back into that positive number for the win. I can tell you, it's been at least 20 years since I played third base, but these plays still make me shudder. You see where he's playing. He's trying to take away the punt, so he's almost up there on the cut of the infield grass. And I'll tell you what, after a play like that, you might have to take a little bit of inventory. Chase Utley will get his first opportunity now. 14 home runs to his credit so far this year. Now here's the first pitch. Gets under this one as this is hit high and pretty deep out there to center field. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Well, three pitches, two outs here to start the home first. He's got to be loving that. Brandon Jordan will stride forward, currently sitting in sixth place in the race for the National League hitting crown. pitch coming fastball too high to start him out here one and oh yeah that's a good spot to miss against a guy like this he loves that pitch up in the zone most power hitters do so that's not a bad idea to give him one above the letters and a fastball in there for a strike one and one yeah that finds a zone but some of these pitches are getting a little too much elevation that could come back to bite him. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. Here's one that misses now to the Philly right fielder. It's two balls and a strike. But when you start that pitch off the edge, most guys know well enough to lay off. You've got to start it on the edge if you want him to chase. Now a ball lined hard toward right center. And that gets down and ought to be good for extra bases. Around first on his way to second now. Digging hard. He's headed for third. Pro won't get him. You talk about flying. With his speed, he doesn't need a coach. Not even going to look at him. He's made his mind up when he hits second. I'm not stopping. I'm getting to third. Michael Franco will stand in, and he's been tearing the cover off the ball the past few days, as you see his numbers from the last five ball games. Now here's the first pitch. In the dirt and blocked behind the plate. And no advance, it's ball one. on the way downstairs two balls and no strikes and this is maybe not a pitch around situation but you need to be real careful with a guy like this and two away now the 2-0 and he pops it up back behind second base Franklin is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. No damage done after the two-out triple. And inning in the books, no score on the show.
Steven Souza will stand in and you see what he's done over the past four games as hot as they come. Number 20, Steven Souza. Here's the first pitch to him. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. And you know, if you're going to challenge a guy up in the zone with a fastball, why not do it on the first pitch? A lot of times, he's going to be taken anyway, and you just bought yourself a strike that you can now throw anything off of. Pitch on the way. That's ball. over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. One and one. Now the one and one pitch. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. One, two. And he'll lay off two, the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Four pitches. Fast, slow, fast, slow. EK, you thinking fastball here? It seems to fit the pattern, but you better not get too predictable out there. Guys will catch on quick. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. You know, when you're facing a guy that throws his fastball in the high 90s, you know you're going to have to cheat a little bit. You've got to get things started a little bit earlier than normal. And what happens then, the guy throws you something off speed, you're way more susceptible to chasing balls out of the zone, and that's exactly what happened right there. Here's John Jason now. As he yeah. will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. The number's coming in. He's at 255. Six home runs and 31 RBIs. Come on, Billy. The pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. No score here as we play inning number two. And now a pitch on the way. Just a touch outside, one and two. Well, I, I think that fastball is just for show there. He's not trying to throw this for a strike. The one two. Swing and a miss at the curveball, and there's your second out of the end. And sometimes up there you just get completely fooled. I mean, I think he changed his mind about swinging at this pitch about three different times while it was on its way to the plate. I'm gonna swing. No, no, no. Uh, I'm gonna take it. Oh, well, I better try to at least foul it off. And in the end, he got nothing. Standing in now, Rene Rivera. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Here it comes. On oh, a big swing there, and he really got into it high and deep to left center field. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And he is in the scoring position at second with their first hit, a two out double. Batting seven. Shortstop as Dribble Cabrera. Cabrera will stand in, and he was the entirety of their offense yesterday afternoon as he drove in both of their two runs. And here's the first pitch. And here's a fastball called for strike one. And you know, all you have to do is point back to yesterday's ball game. This was part of their downfall, hitting with runners in scoring position. They just couldn't sustain any kind of offense. So this would be a big boost if he could turn the tide a little bit here and come through big. He's ready. Now the pitch. Now a breaking ball one, one. runs in on him as he's got to get his hands out of the way on that pitch. The one thing he's shown so far, he's not afraid to work inside. Yeah, with that base open right now, he shouldn't have to be afraid. If you do hit him, big deal. Get the next guy. The 1-1 one, one home to Cabrera. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Here he comes on two and one. Uh, swung right over the top of that one as this is a little dribbler out in front of the mound. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Danger averted following the two-out double. Through an inning and a half, no score on the show. Beltre will get his first shot now. He too had three knocks in yesterday's win.
First offering on the way. And here's a called strike to the 36-year-old veteran. It's nothing in one. Yeah, and in a good hitter's park like this one, it's going to be even more important than usual to keep that fastball down. That's right where he's got to be living. One strike now from Archer. Here we go. And one, one. one and one as this one's in on the hands. I'll give him this. He's not intimidated up there. Well, that was inside. Close to triple digits. He didn't even flinch. Here comes the 1-1. Good swing there, but this is fouled off to the right side. Here comes a 1-2. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. He'll try again, 1-2. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Yeah, I think you have to ask yourself, was he trying to throw a fastball for a strike right there? Or was he just trying to set me up for that change up away? Goes the other way and sends it deep down the right field line. And a diving effort, but he can't make the play in right. And he'll get in there standing up with a leadoff double. Well, that's one of the dangers of being a corner outfielder. If you dive, there's no safety net behind you. I think he's pretty lucky in the end that this one wound up only being two bases instead of three. Heck, could have even been four. Salvador Perez will stand in now with a good chance to break the seal here following the leadoff double. Well, it's a good RBI opportunity, but you've got to remember your first job, which is to at least get that guy over to third base. First pitch to him. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. Well, we'll give you a look there at the graphic. He's up to 22 in the doubles column with that last two bagger. From the stretch. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. This is a spot where it helps to have a two-seam fastball like that so you can work in on the right-handed hitters. A runner at second. Nobody out. Ready now on one and one. Now a ball lying towards center field. And that's in there. Base hit. Jennings will get it in so that runner will put on the brakes at third base. Perfect start to the inning here in a tie ball game. We don't get that leadoff double. And he's moved over to third on the base hit. So now, heck, even a double play ball will get you the lead, though. I bet they'll be looking for a lot more than that. Dominic Brown will get his first shot at it here. Now the pitch. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. and oh. one oh. yeah. A high strike there, and it's 1-1. One and one. Yeah, showing no fear there. He put the pitch right at the letters away, but that guy didn't want any part of it. Runners are at first and third with none out. A 1-1 home. Yeah. Takes a look at a changeup there, and it's a ball and two strikes now. He may not throw a ton of changeups here tonight, but he's got a good one when he needs it. And I think he will need it, because this is a good fastball hitting team. Most teams are, so the more you can keep these guys guessing off balance, the better. Foul back. Another one, two. This is lifted into the air out towards center field. 
catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And he will score on the sacrifice fly as he's in with our first tally of the ball game. Well, they were looking for at least a sack fly here. And fortunately for them, they had the right man for the job at the plate. So nice work to come through and drive home an important run. Ryan Howard will stride in now. Back in the lineup after being limited to pinch hit duties in yesterday's ball game. Now the first pitch. Too low, 1-0. No, Got to be careful here with a run in already. You don't want to let one get away from you and lose the possibility of a double play. Now Howard waits on the 1-0. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. I, I think he's going out there right now just to remind his guy, hey, this is the number eight hitter up there. No reason to, to work the edges. You just come right after him. Now the 2-0. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to 2-1. and one. Oh, and a good fastball hitter here. To me, that's a little surprising that he wouldn't be swinging away on 2-0. Oh. The 2-1 now to Howard. He's fallen behind now, 3-1. and one. Now you've got a run already in, another runner on first. You gotta think this has to be a fastball here. Come on, two. The three and one pitch. Ah, and two. the good fastball there finds the zone as the count goes full now. Three and two. Might not be a bad time to have a look over to first. Make sure they don't have any ideas of trying to send him to keep out of the double play. Here's the three two pitch. Grounded foul off to the left, so they'll do it again. Payoff pitch one more time. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Ethan Martin. Stand in now, and we'll see if the sacrifice will be on here with one man out. Come set, now the pitch. Yeehaw. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. Ah, uh, good pitch right there, right on the heels of a walk. He needed to get ahead of the next guy, and he did just that. As a look, now the pitch. Ball one. Phillies have an early 1-0 lead here in inning number two. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. Here's the 1-2. And this will be fouled away. Pitch here, one and two. Off-speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Two-two. Line hard to center field. And he won't get it as that's down for a base hit. Around third and being waved on home. And the run will score from second to make this a two-nothing ball game. Time will be called here as you see the pitching coach making his way after the mound to pay a quick visit. Ben Revere will stand in. A line-out victim his first time. Now the 
first pitch. Fastball in there for a called strike. And with his speed, contact probably means a run right here. So that's got to be his only thought process at the plate. Let's go. Line drive now. Runners lead from first and third. Here's the pitch. Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. Yeah, and when that pitch starts off outside, it's much easier to get a better view of it and then just lay off. Here's the 1-1. One -one. He's running towards second. Pitch inside. The throw is not in time. It sailed a bit on him there, and that moves two men into scoring position now with only one gone. Just a straight steal here of second base. Good throw might have had him, but you see it just sail a bit there. And nice play to pull it in, or that runner on third could have walked home. The 2-1 home. Swing and a ball line hard towards short. Throw gets him, two down. Well, that's a big break right there that this ball's hit right at him. If this is a few feet in either direction, this might be two runs. Instead, that keeps those runners frozen at second and third with two outs now. In is the second baseman, Chase Utley, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. High strikes, probably not on the docket for places he wants to be. Yeah, I mean, it's no secret got to keep the ball down against a team like this if you go up every once in a while with a fastball you'll be fine but you're not going to last too long if you make a habit of working up there with your secondary pitches pause now the pitch and they'll try to get oh. Utley to chase, but he holds off. It's one and two. Very tempting up there, but that's also a pitch that a lot of guys will pop up. So that's a nice job of laying off. Here's Archer on one and two. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. Big pitch here, one and two. Hit hard on the ground is short. Throw to first in time, and the big inning is avoided as the side is retired. I have to imagine there's a full moon tonight, judging by this bunch. Back with more Monday Night Baseball following this. Nick Franklin. Will stand in now as he was reinserted back into the lineup here after taking a needed day off yesterday. Here's the first offering. And that's dead center for strike one. And against a guy like this, you're usually only going to get one pitch to hit in that bat. Sometimes you might not even get that, so that's one he may want back. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a hard liner to center field. And he will run this one down, moving to his right, and that's the first out of the inning. Well, that one looked like for all the world it was a sure single leading off the inning. It was certainly hit hard enough, but evidently it was hit a little too hard as it winds up getting flagged down, and that's just a tough break. In now, Chris Archer. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. Just no chance to pull the trigger on that one. It just got on him too fast. Now the pitch. Now a swing, and he pops him up. Right up the chute. This may be tough behind the plate. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. Well, that'll be a frustrating at-bat for him. You know, he's got to be thinking he let one get away there because you know, that's a pitch he should have been able to handle. Desmond Jennings 
will be the batter. 0 for 1 here in the early going. First pitch coming. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. The one oh. And ooh, looked like a definite pitcher's pitch there on the inside. One and one. That's one of those fastballs that just never feels like it's going to be a strike. It's up at the letters, and that's a tough one to do anything with. One one on the way. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Now the two one. Grounded foul toward the coaching box at third. Bases are empty here with two men out. Here's the two and two offering. Curveball, and he buckled him, but it's full three and two. Here's the full count offering. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. Rays go in order, one, two, three. They trail it here, two to nothing. Jordan makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. First pitch on the way. He'll hold off on the slider to start the at-bat. It's ball one. one 0 -oh on the way. Here's a hard hit ball back up the middle. Throw to first is in time for the first down. And you know, against a lot of second basemen, this is going to be an infield single. But watch how he fields this thing and then maneuvers his body into a good throwing motion and unloads it quickly to get his man. Into the box, Michael Franco. As he'll take a change up here for strike one. It's so important with guys like this to get ahead with strike one. Put them behind in the count and on their back foot right away. And the pitch. Checks his swing, but this will be strike two call. Don't chase anything bad. Pitch on the way. And this is going to be a foul ball. Here comes another 0 2. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short, taken there by Cabrera on to first, and there are two down. Bases are empty here with two gone and set to stand in. A guy who seems to get better with age, the dangerous Adrian Beltre. First pitch coming. And a ball, 1-0. and oh. The 1-0 -oh home. And a bouncing ball, foul. Go, 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 go. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And he go. checks his swing. Did he go around? Yes, says the first base umpire. Strike two. Two out, nobody on. Now the 1-2. To two balls and two strikes now. Now the 2-2 two -two pitch. This one misses, and that'll fill the count here. Three and two with two away. 
Well, I think that's consistent with how the strike zone gets called nowadays. You know, that's a strike in the rule book, but most umpires won't give you that pitch anymore. Payoff pitch coming. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. For as hot as this guy's been recently, this is a no-brainer. Take the bat out of his hands any chance you get. Salvador Perez will dig in now, hoping to perhaps make him pay for the two-out walk. And he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at-bat. It's ball one. Well, not really how you want to start the next guy after a walk. That pitch isn't even close. Here's a 1-0. Now a ball lifted high in the air towards shallow right center field. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. One left for Philadelphia, but they hold a 2-0 lead. Kevin Kiermeyer will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Kevin Kiermeyer. Now here's the first pitch. Over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. Now here it comes. And the third baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seats. Now here's the pitch. On the ground is short. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. One out here in the Tampa Bay fourth. And standing in here is the very dangerous third baseman, Evan Longoria. First pitch coming. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. No runs, just one hit, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. The pitch. This for Utley at second. On to first, and a sigh of relief as Longoria's retired easily for the second out. Very quickly, five pitches and two outs here in the fourth. So those are the kind of innings you love to have if you plan on working deep into a ball game. Steven Souza will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. Here's the first offering. Fastball that gets the inside corner strike one. Well, as we've seen so far, this isn't a team that's going to wait around too long to feel a pitcher out. They're an aggressive team all the way from top to bottom. And if that first pitch is anywhere close, most of these guys are going to take a hack at it. And the slider's one, in one. the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Yeah, it, it's so easy to get caught reaching on that pitch. We've seen a few of his teammates do it already. That's a great job to recognize slider and play off. The 1-1. One, one. Close pitch, but just a bit outside. He wanted it, but it's two and one. All right, now you've just seen two straight breaking pitches miss away. So, as a hitter, you're going to eliminate that pitch. No way does he throw it a third time. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. And with the tying run in the on deck circle, the question does he take a look at another one here? He just might. You're still going to see a good pitch on three and two, even if this one's a strike. The 3-1 coming. Now a big swing as this is popped up. And I mean way up there toward the right side of the infield. Howard will put this one away and the side is retired. Down in order go the Rays. They're down 2 to nothing. Dominic Brown. Start things out for the Phillies with the dangerous Ryan Howard waiting on deck. Now here's the first pitch. 
swing, and he pulls the fastball high in the air toward deep right center. And that'll get down for what should be extra bases. And a very quick start to the inning here. It's a first pitch double. But he's right on the fastball here. Get a look. He gets that bat and out front just rips this ball into the alley and right. Gets the inning started with a nice leadoff double. now in the Tampa Bay pen as it looks like a right-hander's begun to get loose. Here's big Ryan Howard now as he'll take a look at ball one. Well, you see there on the graphic, that's 12 doubles now on the campaign. The 1-0 changes up on him if that's in the dirt for a ball. Yeah, they're being really careful with this guy. Remember, they walked him the first time around, and now they're behind 2-0 to him right here. Here's the 2-0. Lays off a fastball, but it's over for a strike. 2-1. and one. Here's the 2-1 pitch. Swing and a ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. Here's the two and two home. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Kind of hard to think that he wouldn't have had an idea that a fastball might be coming here, but judging by his reaction, I should say lack of reaction, I guess not. Ethan Martin. Get a shot now in an RBI spot, so a chance to help his own cause here. And he's got a hit in the game already, so he can handle the bat at least a little bit. And here's the first pitch. Drops in a strike to start the at-bat. Nothing in one. He's already hurt him once, so maybe you don't want to be leaving that down the middle. One strike now from Archer. Tried to get him to go one. after the slider, but it's one and one. Runner at second here with one man out. Now the one-one. Two and one. And he's tracking that all the way across the plate, but that had too much sweep to it for him to think of swinging. Let's go, Billy. Now the 2 1 pitch. And this will find the seats behind the first base dugout. One out and a runner on second base. The 2 2 coming. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Boy, you have got to make this guy swing the bat here on this next pitch. This is not the guy you want to lose. Full count pitch on its way. And he lays off here. It's ball four. And that is really cause for concern as he's just walked the opposing pitcher. Ben Lavier will step in. He's lined out and grounded out in two trips. Here's the first pitch to him. First offering to him stays upstairs. It's a ball and no strikes. Pretty good speed here coming out of that left-handed batter's box. So it's no sure thing that a ground ball means a double play. Runners are at first and second with one away. The next pitch. And he makes good contact there, but this is going to find the stands foul down the right field line. 1-1 one, one pitch on the way. Now the double steal is on here. Swing, hard hit ball to second. Throw in time at first for out number two. And you know, this was not one of those 3-2 start the runners kind of a deal. This looked like a straight double steal, or maybe even a hit and run thrown in there. And it's going to wind up at least a partial success for these guys because the runners do move up, albeit on the ground out. 
Two are gone in the Philly fourth. And making his way in is the second baseman, Chase Utley. First pitch to him. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Utley awaits the 1-0. Hey, and a strike to even the count. One and one. And even though you got a two-run lead, you don't want to be leaving too many guys in scoring position out there. That could come back to bite you later. The 1-1. One, one. Here's a foul ball left side, and that'll move it to one and two. Here comes the one, two. And that misses two and two. Where do you go from here? I think he's set up for something off speed. If you can put that change up below his knees, you won't come within a foot of it. Here comes a 2-2. And a slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. Boy, nothing's really come easy for him so far on the mound. He's had to work for everything, and now he's got to deal with another full count. Now the three and two pitch. Foul toward the third base dugout, but this will get back into the seats out of play. Now the payoff pitch home. And he takes ball four. So now at least they're set up for the force at any base here with two away. Second walk here in the fourth inning. I mean, that's too many against this bunch. It doesn't look like he and his catcher are on the same page right now. Brandon Jordan to get a chance here in one of the bigger spots in the ball game thus far. Base is loaded now with two away. Now the first pitch. Here's a drive toward the gap in right center, and that's going to split the alley for extra bases. Brown scores. Two runs have scored. And a relay to the plate. It's in time, and he's out at the plate, so they'll get two runs on the play, but not the third. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. We've played four full. Phillies lead this one four to nothing. John Jaso will make his way towards the box to lead Being off the fifth. The, the catcher, number 28, John Jaso. Now the first pitch. And a strike called at the letters. Looked high to me, but it's nothing in one. The pitch count there. One pitch into his fifth inning of work. Not much of a concern, I wouldn't imagine. Yeah, it shouldn't be. He hasn't had any real overtaxed innings, so he should be fine for the time being. And this is fouled straight back. And now a pitch on the way. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first down. An early look at the line score here tonight as we play the top of the fifth. And boy, just one lone hit for the visitors this evening as they've been taken to task by this starter. Rene Rivera will stand in here. He doubled his first time around. First offering on the way. Swung on and hit in the air to left. Brown is in his tracks now. And yeah, that's out number two. And you just get the sense that he's got it on cruise control out there now. Make it nine in a row he's set now. As Drupal Cabrera will stand in now with two away, trying to avoid another one, two, three inning. Now, this has been total domination these past few innings. They haven't been able to mount any kind of threat whatsoever. First pitch coming. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. Well on his way to another good inning right here. And you see the pitch count. It's not even close to being a factor just yet. No runs, just one hit. And no errors for Tampa Bay so far. Here's the 
And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Right back inside with a fastball. This time, he got the call. One one pitch coming now to Cabrera. Swing and a line drive to center field. And Cabrera's going to have himself a base hit. Yeah, and guys, there's a look at his line through the first few innings. Pretty dominant so far. Just the second hit he's allowed tonight. And the first one didn't wind up hurting him at all. So we'll see if he can get out of this inning as well. Nick Franklin will stand in. A line-out victim his first time. He's set. Now the pitch. And that misses inside 1-0. What are you looking at, Blue? A runner on first with two away. Here comes the 1-0. Fastball, and that thing's a blur up there, folks. One and one. Now the one and one pitch. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats, out of play. It's one and two. The right-hander deals on one and two. Hit hard, but foul. Now another one, two. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. When a pitcher's close to getting through a quick inning, this is where you really need to grind out your at-bats, especially as a bottom-of-the-order guy. So this is a good job so far. Here he comes on two and two. And this ball is also hit foul and heading for the seat, so we'll have to do it again. Still two and two. Ready with another 2-2. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. Ray's strand just the one. They trail here four to nothing. Brad Boxberger is going to take over here in inning number five as it's going to be up to their bullpen to try and keep them in the game here. Michael Franco will try it again. 0 for 2 with a fly out and a ground ball thus far. And a check swing. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. The 1 0 pitch. First two pitches off the mark here. It's 2-0. and oh. That's his strength. He wants to try and come in and, and jam you. So you've got to be ready to try and turn on something. The 2-0 -oh on the way. Too high. And it's 3-0. and oh. He's having a little trouble finding the strike zone here to start off the inning. And it's a long road back from 3-0. and Here comes the 3-0. And that misses ball four now. It's a leadoff walk to get the home half of the fifth underway. Well, it seems to me like you've at least got to make him go after something. I mean, the bat never left his shoulder. That's making it way too easy for a guy leading off the inning. Adrian Beltre will stand in. Base on balls his last time. Action of the Rays' pen now as they've got a lefty and a right-hander up and throwing. First pitch on the way. Runners off for second. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. Not in time as he just gets in ahead of the throw. 
And it looks like these guys just don't want to take their foot off the gas pedal. They know even a lead like this isn't safe, especially with a lot of baseball left to be played. So he's on the move here, and he's in the second with that stolen base. Come set, now the pick. Check swing, but he held up in time, ball one. Yeah, he started to go up the ladder there, but then he realized in time that he wasn't going to get there. Advancing. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. In there at the letters, 1-2 and two now. And that's about where he'll sit with that fastball, 93-94. That's plenty hard enough to blow it by guys when you need to. No one out with a runner at second. Let's go, Philadelphia. 1-2. Now a hard liner towards short, but right to Cabrera, and that's the first out. Oh, they came right back at him with another heater right there. He wasn't surprised at all. He might have been sitting on that pitch, but he hit it right on the button. It just wound up being right at somebody. Here's the catcher, Salvador Perez. As he'll line this one foul to the right side out of play, it's strike one. He's set, now the pitch. Sets the target low here, and it misses one and one. Runner at second here with one man out. Perez waiting on the one-one. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. Here it comes, two and one. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground at first. And he'll take this one to the back for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. Well, at the very least, he does move that runner up to third base. But with two away now, I don't think that's exactly what he was hoping to accomplish. I think he wanted to drive him in. Dominic Brown will step in. He doubled and later scored his last time. pitch coming and a high strike there 0 and 1 yeah a little surprising he didn't offer it that one that was a dangerous spot for a good fastball hitter he's ready now the pitch here's a swing by Brown as he sends a ground ball out to second base Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So they pick up no run on no hits, no errors, and one man left on base. Five innings complete. Philadelphia is on top, four to nothing. David DeJesus will grab a bat and lead things off here in the top of the sixth. David DeJesus. And he just keeps rolling along as he starts another batter out with strike one. For that man right there, you need look back only to his last start to see a performance like the one he's shown here so far. And well on his way to another great outing. And that's what you get when you mix your speeds and throw a lot of strikes. In there, and it's 0-2 now. He's had a high strike zone all night, so even if you're on the bench, you got to be aware of that. Peter Peer. Now the pitch. Grounded foul down the line, so he'll tee it up again. Ready with another 0-2. And they'll try to tempt him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's 1-2. and two. That big curveball is not an easy one to take on an 0-2 count. 
That's a great job of holding off. Now here's the pitch. And a swing and a ball hit foul heading for the seats. So another foul ball here and it remains one and two. Here he comes again, one, two. In tight two, with two. the slider, two and two. And that's the right spot for that slider. Really try hard to tie him up inside. And that's a good job to lay off too. Here now the 2-2. Two, two. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. The 2-2 two, two, one more time. Hit on the ground towards first. And the big fella just takes it to the bag himself for the first out. And all through this winning streak of theirs, we've seen some great starting pitching. And this has been another very good performance. Good enough to most likely keep that winning streak going. Desmond Jennings will stand in, and he, like so many others, hitless in the ballgame so far. Third baseman in tight, protecting the bunt, the first pitch. A fastball here as he'll take a one look ball, at ball no one. One and oh. Here's the one oh. Two and oh. Come on now. Here comes the two oh. Swing and a miss on the heater, and it's two and one. One out, nobody on. Here comes the 2 1. Trying to bunt his way aboard to no avail. It's 2 and 2. And the pitch. And this is swung out and missed. So it's 2 up, 2 down to start the sixth inning. And a lot of times you, know, you might say, ah, you know, four run lead, we'll make that up. But I tell you, the way he's throwing the ball right now, they might be fortunate just to get one run off it. Kevin Kiermeyer will stand in for the third time now. Still without a hit, so that streak could be in a bit of jeopardy. And I think that's in the back of his mind, but it's not something he's really focused on. He just wants to get up there and put a good swing on the ball. Now here's the first pitch. First pitch is a slider down low. It's 1-0. Oh. Now the 1-0 pitch. Not close. Up. It's 2-0. Oh. Two zero on the way. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. Boy, and this is why you're trying to get yourself into good hitters count. This is just right down the middle on two and oh. And swinging at this should be your reward. But he decides to let it go. Good fastball that time as he's pulled the count back to even now. It's two and two. A strike away now from getting through six shutout innings here. And that's no small feat against this lineup. 2-2 pitch on the way. And he struck him out. His seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Rays go in order. 1-2-3. They're on the short end of a 4-0 score. James Russell will come on now as he'll start out the bottom of the sixth. Number 51, James Russell. Ryan Howard will stand in to lead things off here in the Philadelphia sixth. Lays off one and oh. One and oh. Now Howard waits on the one oh. Fouled straight back. Ready now on one and one. 
fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. Here's the lefties offering on one and two. And Howard will wisely lay off that one as it's back to two and two now. Sets the 2-2 pitch. Swung on and taken the opposite way out toward deep left center. Souza will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first out. Yeah, it looked like this might be much more off the bat, but this ballpark has really played large tonight. And, you know, we've seen a few balls right now really get knocked down out there. Ethan Martin will stand in now, and given the big cushion he has to work with on the other side of the scorecard, he'll go ahead and hit for himself here in inning number six. Here's the first offering. Here's a slider to start things out, looked at for ball one. Now the 1-0. And, oh, looked like ball two below the knees, but it's ruled a strike, and that evens the count at one and one. Yeah, there's a good one right there, right over the top. Just fire that thing in there. Here's the 1-1 pitch. And that jammed him a bit there as it's fouled at the plate. The one and two with one away. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And Longoria's got it for out number two. Yeah, not always an easy play heading toward the stands out there in left field. He's got a few different things to worry about over there, but he stays with it to make it look routine. Here's Ben Revere. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. Bases are empty here with two men out. Here it comes. Fouled straight back. Now the pitch. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw in time and the side is retired. up three down for Philadelphia but they're in front four to nothing welcome back to Citizens Bank Park here in Philadelphia it's on to the seventh inning now with the Phillies out in front and it's a good time to check out our game summary through the first six innings so far Evan Longoria will stride forward now. He's bounced out a couple of times already here in the ballgame. Evan Longoria. Now some movement out in the Phillies' bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. and Longoria waiting on the 1-0. And this is lined right back up the middle. And that's through into left. So a leadoff single here to start the seventh. One of the first times tonight that they've had their leadoff man on base. Now they've got to find a way to build on it if they want to get back in this thing. Steven Souza will stand in. He struck out and popped out in two trips. First pitch coming. Now about a 58-foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. A look here at the hits per side here in the late going. On, 1-0 on the way. 2-0 and oh now. All right, leadoff man on first. Here's where you got to start clawing your way back into this ball game. It's not too late but it needs to start happening soon. A runner at first with no outs here. Hitters count 2-0. 3-0 oh. oh now. 
Well, you know, even four-run leads have a tendency to disappear when you can't find the strike zone. He's got to figure it out here quick before things get away from him. Here it comes, the 3-0. That one's in there, 3-1. and one. Corner paint right there, 97 miles an hour. What are you going to do with that? Here he comes, 3-1. This ball's grounded foul. Three and two, here it is. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. It's been a great start for him to this point. Into the seventh inning of work now, and that's just the first walk he's allowed so far. So maybe not a red flag just yet, but it is something worth watching. John Jaso will step in now as his guys look for a breakthrough here with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, and it's been a long time coming. They haven't done anything with their opportunities so far. Maybe this will be the time that they finally crack the scoreboard. Here's the first offering. Curveball just misses, apparently. 1-0. and oh. Now with two on and nobody out, it's looking like this scoreless string could be in some jeopardy. one oh pitch now lays off again and it's two and oh Eric what are you looking for here it's a fastball count but he doesn't always play by the rules out there so this could very well be a slider or something away so in other words I have no idea now, two oh home over the outside half and it's two and one yeah and it seems like he kind of got away from that pitch here in the last few innings you got to think about bringing that one right back A 2-1 offering. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. A 2-2. And this is drifting foul back into the stand. Another try at 2-2. Chopper foul. Two, one more time. A full count, three balls and two strikes. Wow, what an at bat he's having right now. He's fought off some tough pitches. He's laid off a few pitches like that one. And now he's worked his way back to a three and two count. Full count pitch on its way. Good wood on it there, but foul, so they'll do it again. pitch one more time. Swing and a ground ball towards the hole. Utley for one. Over to Howard and indeed they get them both. And that was quite a battle up there. He made him throw a ton of pitches. An advantage pitcher here as in the end he gets him to ground into the double play. Rene Rivera will step in. One for two in the ball game. Here's the first pitch. And a good fastball there, but this just misses the zone for ball one. The 1-0. That command may be starting to drift a bit. It's 2-0 now. 
A couple of tight pitches here to start this at bat. You can't really say you're getting squeezed, but he's not really getting any help either. Here's the 2-0 pitch. Too tight with that one. 3-0. Now that he's worked it to 3-0, he's got a couple of free pitches here to pick out one he really likes. Nothing pitch. And he'll just float a change in here now for a strike. Not turned loose there. I thought that he might be swinging with two away, but apparently not. Now the 3 1. And he missed oh. with it there. Ball four. It's a two out walk with the runner still at third. tell you though, complaining like that is only going to squeeze that strike zone a little more. As Drupal Cabrera come forward now with a great RBI chance here with runners at the corners. And these opportunities have been few and far between so far. They've got to make something happen soon or this game might just get away from them. Now here's the first pitch. And there's his strike right down the heart of the plate, 0-1. Next pitch will be number 100 for him now through six and two-thirds. Runners lead from first and third. Here's the pitch. And he'll fight this one foul off to the left as the count goes to 0-2. From the stretch. Swing and a liner. Foul. Now another 0-2. And he struck him out. His eighth punch out of the ballgame. And that one ends the inning. A couple of walks, but no damage. Back with more on this Monday night after this. Chase Utley will step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. Second Chase Utley. The pitch. First pitch is a slider called for a strike. And you know, this is a guy that loves the ball down and in. It's one of the locations he really covers well, so they're going to want to mix their spots here. And now a pitch on the way. And a bouncing ball foul. Now here's the pitch. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Yeah, with the bases empty, that's the right spot for that 0-2 pitch. Make him see if he'll chase that slider. Now here's the pitch. And this is swung on and missed by Utley as he's retired for route number one. Uh, and this is where the scouting report really pays off. I mean, sometimes you just got to go looking for a soft spot in the guy's zone, and they found one there. Into the box now, Brandon Jordan. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. Really a good job so far by this guy out of the bullpen. Yeah, he's come in and really put his stamp on this game. He's thrown a lot of strikes. That's what you want. Pitch on the way. Now this is swung on and dribbled up the first baseline. But that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. And the pitch. Swing and a liner towards second. 
Uh, and he couldn't quite get high enough to pull that one down. It's into right center, a base hit. Yeah, he's swinging a pretty hot bat here. Three for four now after the base hit. That wasn't a little bleeder. That ball was smoke. Stepping in now, Michael Franco. As this is pop foul behind the plate, it's strike one. He's ready now, the pitch. And this catches the inside corner. Good spot there. It's 0-2. Down 0-2 after two great sliders. He's got his work cut out for him now. As a look, now the pitch. Inside, as that perhaps will back him off a bit. One and two. Runners on first with one down. Here comes a one-two. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. And he'll get the fielder's choice play at second, but that's all. Well, you could have put the first base bag out in the outfield grass on this play. You're not going to double this guy up. He's too fast. Still a pretty good job of at least getting that lead runner at second base. So two are gone now in the Philadelphia seventh and set to stand in. A guy who seems to get better with age, the dangerous Adrian Beltre. Here's the first pitch to him. Yeah. In there, 0-1. But the runners back easily. From the belt, kicks and deals. Pitch out, nothing doing. Here's the one and one now to Beltre. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Two, one. Ball three. And you know what he's going to be sitting on now. Two out with the man at first. The 3-1 is on the way. And a good at-bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Oh, you know he wanted that one. Now the inning will continue. And the guy moves up into scoring position here. Salvador Perez will get his shot now with two on and two out here in inning number seven. set now the pitch well struck but foul over by the coaching box come set now the pitch swing and a ball hit hard on the ground is short and the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over Phillies leave a couple, but they hold a four to nothing lead. Nick Franklin will stand in to start out their half of the eighth with that starter still out there, and he's definitely been a tough nut to crack. No, he's been dominant all game long, and I think part of it is that he got himself a nice lead early on. And that's allowed him to not really worry about making a mistake. He's been free and easy the whole way through. First pitch to him. 
too high that time with the inning's first pitch. It's ball one. Well, that man right there is into his eighth inning of work now. Any concerns going forward? Well, I think the only thing you have to worry about is that pitch count you see right there. Other than that, he's earned the right to stay out there. Usually the other team will tell you when you're starting to get tired. But right there to glove it is the shortstop for the first out. Yeah, he just keeps rolling right along. Shut out attack as you can get a look at his line so far. Through seven and a third innings now, they've just not been able to mount any type of offense against him at all. Kevin Leroy will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. And that misses ball one. One zero on the way. Comes in with the changeup, and it's two and zero. He's showing pretty good patience here for a rookie. Those were two tough takes, but he's got it to two and zero. The two zero. Too high, and it's three and zero. And there you see the leadoff man on deck, and. You know, they'd love to get someone on base when this lineup turns over. Here he comes on 3-0. and And there's a strike as he'll try to work his way back. It's 3-1. and And at the plate, he might have been told, look, you're taken until you get a strike. Not a bad idea. Bases are empty, one man out. The 3-1. And he lays off, ball four. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. And there you get a look at his pitch count. You can see he's over the 100 pitch mark right now. So some of those mistakes are going to start to get magnified late in this ball game. You can bet they're keeping close tabs on him in that dugout. Desmond Jennings will stand in for the fourth time now, still looking for his first hit of the ball game. And he's not the only one either. This has been a great pitching performance so far, and they've had these guys chasing their tails all game long. Now the first pitch. Grounded, fouled off to the right side. From the belt, the pitch. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. One there. On the first, it's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. More from Citizens Bank Park in just a moment. Ronald Belisario is on out of the bullpen now as he'll take over to start the bottom of the eighth. Ronald Belisario. Dominic Brown will start things out for the Phillies with the dangerous Ryan Howard waiting on deck. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. And this ball is going to find the seats down the left field line. Foul strike one. Here's the pitch. Now a ball sprayed fouled into the seats near third. The pitch. Still sticking with the fastball, but this time he lays off. It's one and two. Not a real good 0-2 there. You don't necessarily want it in the zone, but you do want to at least give him something to think about. The one-two. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. And a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it, and the leadoff man's aboard. He'll get it into second, but it won't be in time, and it's a leadoff double. Well, I think this was a little bit of a gamble from my perspective. I had a feeling that he'd take a big turn around first and then hold on, but he was having none of that. He's smelling two all the way, and he's going to make it there with a hustle double. Here's B. 
big Ryan Howard now. And he starts to go after it. Question was, did he hold up in time? Yes, indeed, says the third base umpire. The 1-0 home. Off the plate again. 2-0 now. And I think they'd stay out there again. Maybe for the rest of the at-bat. Two well count the pitch three and oh now he's definitely looking fastball there and you know he got one but good recognition not to go up and chase it he's ready now the pitch that one's in there three and one figure we'll probably see a heavy dose of that sinker here tonight it's really a pitch you'll lean on, it, especially when he needs that ground ball, but even in situations like this where he's just trying to get ahead. Pause, now the pitch. Over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. Three-two pitch. Here's a line drive into left center. Will that get the job done? It's a base hit. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And they'll add another. This is now a 5-0 game. Deja Vu here to start off the inning. Get a double to lead things off. Followed by another double here. They get a quick run as one guy will just replace the other at second base. Tim Collins is on to work as he'll take over here in the eighth. Number 56, Tim Collins. Ethan Martin will buy himself another at-bat, and in turn, he'll get himself a nice little ovation for the work he's turned in on the mound so far. Uh, he's been great. This is an appreciative crowd. They like what they've seen, and I don't blame them. Now the first pitch. Took a little off, and it's in for a cold strike one. Well, we'll give you a look there at the graphic. That's now seven doubles for him on the season. set now the pitch that's taken now it's 0 and 2 he set now the pitch and a breaking ball down and in here as he's got to hop out of the way there and even on 0-2 you don't want guys to get into a comfort level up there Here's the one-two. To two balls and two strikes now. And the hope was that he would have chased one of those pitches, but now on two and two, I don't think you fool around anymore. Here's the two and two offering. And this is swung on and missed. And boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. And he may be considered to be a left-handed specialist, but he can get right-handed hitters out. He shows it to you right there. Here's Ben Revere. As he will look at a first-pitch fastball for ball one. Tough spot here for a left-handed hitter, facing a guy that's exceptionally tough on lefties. Yeah, you generally get so many at-bats against right-handed pitching. Now you're in a good RBI spot, and you're stuck facing a guy like this. That's inside. 2-0. and oh. And it's worth pointing out that they're burning through that bullpen here in game one of this series. That could have an effect on the rest of this week. The 2-0. And this one will be out of play off to the left. The 2-1. 
And it misses. Three and one now. He was hoping he'd get him to go up the ladder there, but that's going to set up an even more dangerous pitch here on three and one. Now the three one home. Line fouled off to the left, and a few goes back. Here's the payoff pitch. Swing and a ball bounced back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. The throw to the plate. And the run will score from second here as that breaks it open to a 6-0 lead. Chase Utley will stand in. And I've got to think these add-on runs here will really make it difficult to come back from. And that's how they've done it all game long. They haven't really had a big inning yet. Just a lot of ones and twos, but those will add up. First offering on the way. And he lays off there, 1-0. Oh. Here's a 1-0. Oh. Big swing and a miss at the changeup, a ball and a strike. Boy, when he's got that thing going good, it just takes a nosedive right at the end. Here's the 1 1 pitch. Up high, 2 and 1 now. One out and a runner on second base. Ready with the 2 1. Foul toward the third base dugout, but this will get back into the seats out of play. Now the 2-2 pitch. Hit hard, but foul toward first, so he'll come back and line it up again. Here's the 2-2 two and two home. Chopper foul. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. And a little battle brewing here as he fights off the two-strike pitch and chops it foul. Let's put a few on the floor, guys! 2-2. Two -two. And he'll hang in here as he reaches to foul this one away. Another 2-2. Two -two. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. Well, let's isolate this release here. You can see he's got an easy motion, easy delivery, and boom, then he runs his pitch up there pretty darn quick. Standing in now, Brandon Jordan as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. one oh. That missed. Close. It's ball two. Looks like he's not going to see anything here. Yeah, I don't think so either. They gave him two shots to see if he'd go out of the zone to try to chase, and after that, I'm thinking they should just put him on. Now the 2-0. This is hit sharply to the left side. That's in there. Base hit. Galloping around third is Revere. And the route is officially underway. It is 7 to nothing. You know, sometimes this game can just be flat out simple. Here he just worked his way into a good count. Bought himself a nice fastball to hit. And then just rips it out there to drive in a run. Into the box, Michael Franco. And he'll watch one, one miss up and away for a ball, 1-0. and oh. That look says it all in the third base dugout. That's not the look of a guy who's going to be sleeping well tonight, is it? The next pitch. A high strike there, and it's 1-1. One and one. Well, that one's at 94, so the velocity's good right now. Let's go. Wait for the pitch. The 
1-1 home. Hit hard, but fouled off to the left, and that'll keep you honest as a third base coach. Three runs already home here. Now the 1-2. And this one's in the dirt. And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away, as that'll be scored a wild pitch. Yeah, this is a matter of just overthrowing that curveball. This one's going to be about a 58-footer. And once it skips away, there's no shot to get him down at second base. Here comes a 2-2. And a pitch down that swung on and sent to second base. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Another good inning here for the Phillies, and the brotherly love is in abundance now. Back with more Monday Night Baseball following this. Kevin Kiermeyer will be tasked now with leading things off in their half of the night as they'll try to do something to prevent being shut out. And whatever they've done for the first eight innings hasn't yielded a whole lot so far, so quite frankly, I'm not expecting too much. First pitch coming. Off we go in the ninth as the first pitch misses for ball one. The 1-0. -oh. That's wide, 2-0. Two, -and -oh. two really close pitches to kick off this at bat. Normally this guy would be all over him, but he's shown some discipline here with two good takes. Now the 2-0. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to 2-1. and one. Ready on 2-1. and one. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Here he comes on 2-2. Two and two. And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. And I know he wants the shutout, but with his pitch count the way it is right now, a walk right here might signal the end of the line for him. Three, two, here it comes. Now a ball rolled foul toward first as he stays alive. He'll try it again, three and two. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again, three and two. The three two pitch. And this pitch misses here. It's ball four, and they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth. Yeah, nothing on the scoreboard yet, so maybe this can be a start as he's on base to lead off the inning. Evan Longoria will get another crack one for three thus far. First pitch coming. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Now here's a good spot to finally break through against this guy. You've got the leadoff man on. The heart of the order's coming up. And maybe this is a good chance to get that goose egg off the scoreboard. From the belt, kicks and deals. No, Off no. the plate, one ball, one strike. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. Here comes the 1-2. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. It doesn't take a trained eye to tell you. He's starting to wear down a bit out there on the mound. Let's turn two. 
Here now the 2-2. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's 3-2 and two now. And a good job here of making him throw a lot of pitches. I mean, he probably doesn't have a whole lot left in the tank, so the more you make him work, the better your chances of getting a mistake. And now there's ball four as this goes straight to the backstop. First and second now after the walk, and they haven't gotten much going offensively against this guy at all. So this is about as good an opportunity as they've had. Steven Souza will step in now, 0 for 2 to this point. Now here's the first pitch. Drops in a strike to start the at-bat. Nothing and one. Yet again, another first pitch strike. And it's a big reason of why he's having the success he is. You establish the count in your favor right away, and it just opens up the door to so many more options going forward. He's ready now. The pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. And that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball. Comes set. Now the pitch. Inside, as he might be trying to set him up here one and two. Still now on one and two, you don't have to make the perfect pitch out there. The count is still well in your favor on the mound. Big pitch here, one and two. And he punches out another one, make it nine for the ball game. I love this pitch right here. Just an elevated fastball with two strikes. Nothing much to it. He just says, this is just a good old country fastball, and he runs it right by him. Here's John Jason now, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. That man's team has definitely shot itself in the foot with all the strikeouts so far. It seems like it's been a growing trend so far, but man, you've just got to be able to put the ball in play when you've got runners in scoring position. From the belt, the pitch, fastball, and that ran in on him as he had to limbo out of the way that time. Yeah, he's not trying to hit him, I don't think, but sometimes you need to keep guys honest up there. I think that's all he was trying to do there. One one on the way. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. There's not a whole lot of conviction in that swing. It was almost like an afterthought, like an emergency hat. First and second now, one man out. The right-hander deals on one and two. Two, two. Lays off two and two now. Two-two pitch on the way. And this is hit sharply on the ground toward the hole. The second for one on the first, and he rolls the double play ball to end it here as this ball game is over. Well, we've talked about it all throughout this game. He was completely in charge, essentially, from pitch one. And now he finishes off a masterful performance here, getting the complete game shutout.
really in complete control the whole way through. Only really got into trouble a few times, and he winds up with a complete game shutout. So that's a wrap here tonight. For well, my partners in the booth, Eric Karros and Steve Lyons, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click on over to theshownation.com. The Phillies win this one 7 to nothing. Good night from Philly. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious Philadelphia Phillies. Seven runs, 11 hits, no errors. They left 11 men on base. For the Rays, no runs, three hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 57 minutes. A reminder that extra post-game SEPTA trains on the Orange Broad Street line are available at the Patterson Avenue station, and extra C buses are available directly outside the stadium.